it will go back in the horizontal plane. Torque exactly as you see on the picture there. You ready? I stop the torque, nothing happens. I torque backwards, I keep torquing. I keep torquing, I feel it in my hand, I really have to push. I keep torquing, and I stop torquing, and it stops. So the angular momentum vector is chasing, so to speak, the torque. Is that non-intuitive? Very non-intuitive? It's also dangerous sometimes. Okay, this is the direction of my spin angular momentum. And I'm the airplane. And I'm going to fly. Look at that spin angular momentum. It has no respect for me. It stays in the same direction no matter how I fly. And the error signals that come from the, the bearings of the yellow housing and the black housing, those arrow signals are fed back to the automatic pilot, and so the plane will stay on course. Now what I can do for you to come to a final test on your thinking, this wheel is suspended in such a way that there is no gravitational torque on it, like there was here. But I can put a torque on it by simply putting some weights on the axis. And what do you think will happen now if I put some weight here on the axis? So this, this, the wheel is spinning, but now I'm going to put a torque on it here. It is spinning in this direction. Angular momentum is pointing straight at me, away from you. I'm going to put a torque on like this, putting the weight there. Torque will be in this direction. What will the Spin angular momentum do. Torque is in this direction, spin angular momentum is in this direction. Spin angular momentum will start to chase the torque. Watch it. There it goes. The spin angular momentum is changed, chasing the torque. You see exactly the same thing that I've shown you before. And if I make the torque higher, then the precession frequency will go up. See, it stops now immediately when I take it off, put it back on again. Continues, put more on it, goes way faster. What happens now if I put the weight on this side? So I change the direction of the torque. If I put it on this side, torque is now in this direction. Spin angular momentum is in this direction. It's going to reverse direction. There we go. And you see it does. Amazingly non-intuitive. If you have problems with this, you're not alone. See you Wednesday. <laughs>